Boyce is going to do is try to get Gerard to raise his neck. This is a major part of fighting. This People do not understand this. That is the power of, of jiu-jitsu in action. Hello. Welcome to the Mind Body Soul Podcast. Here is your host, Ike Feldman. Hello again. This is Ike Feldman from the Ike Dagon, I K E D A G O N dot com. Thank you guys for bearing with me on these types of podcasts, the more slower, less razzle-dazzle, more spazzle, but in the end, trying to jazzle. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> Walt Clyde Frazier would appreciate that. Um, go Knicks. Go Jets. Go every local New York sports team, fighter, whoever. Go New York. Go New York. Go. But the world is a little bigger than New York. There's New Jersey. There's Connecticut, there's Pennsylvania, and I think that's it. <laughs> there's Canada and Europe, Mexico, and a whole bunch of other places outside of New York, but go New York. <sighs> the reason why I mentioned that there are other places outside of New York is because, um, well, before I get to this whole Mind, Body, Soul podcast, I'm working on a, uh, a revamped, relaunched Iktagon look. I'm really working hard behind the scenes to email former colleagues, but still... E friends, I guess that can be a term if nobody's coined it yet. E friends, colleagues that I've never met, but we've just had a internet relationship, and it's cool when you don't have to call somebody, zoom somebody face to face, and they still understand what's going on and they have a good feel when it comes to the printed word that's cool so i got good e friends and uh i'm working hard behind the scenes and it's working out so i'm very happy about that my mind is working out with video games and now the revamping relaunching of my project the Ictagon. Which, anytime it has to do with yourself, there's that 100% factor. You know, I, I believe that anything that doesn't involve self, complete self-fortitude, you don't give 100% to. 
So anything that's outside of anything that you're a hundred percent committed of, you are less than a hundred percent committed. I just think when it involves yourself with your family, with your career, with your friends, you're a hundred percent in if you got skin in the game. As they say, right? Who knows what that even means. But I'm 100% in mind-wise uh, with video games and uh, with this podcast and uh, with my conversations that I have with family and friends and colleagues. And my body, I am, uh, and my dog, who you may hear in the background of it background at times Rio he's uh just over a year and he's a sweetheart um but my body's working out I'm getting in shape again I'm so proud of myself for fighting through these uh allergies and still pushing through to look better this is the hardest time of the year for me physically um but I've changed up my diet as you guys heard in the last trailer podcast um but yeah cleaned up my diet uh i did this last year uh 2021 of march and april where i cut out dairy and beer for the most part um every now and then i'd crack and have sour cream if it was tacos uh or I would crack and have a beer if I was doing those tacos. Um, but for the most part, no ice cream. Maybe one pizza a day. Uh, no cheese. And just fight through it. And both times I've lost a substantial amount of weight. Last year I think I lost 12 or 14 pounds. This year I lost 9 pounds. And uh, it feels good. It's tough. Probably on the bones. You know, maybe you need to surround your bones with some fats, which is good. But I believe I made it through the hard part of the year with the allergies, and now it's just a smooth ride, smooth ride. And uh, yeah, this all comes on top of the soul. I feel soulful. I feel the uh, powers that be working in my favor because I'm working hard to do favors and for my to do favors for myself as well. And uh, I have good fortune and good luck and. A lot of love and a lot of peace in my life right now. 2020 was a hard year for a majority of people. And it affected everybody differently. For me personally, it increased focus. Made me appreciate the things I do have and make me want to work harder for the things that I don't. And it made me stay locked in an apartment, horny as hell, with a horny wife. And uh, we created our baby boy, Orion. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's true. And he's everything to us. He's perfect. He's a he's a gift from the Lord, and we're very appreciative of him, and we love him very much. And life is good, and I've just all these future thoughts come crawling in and rumbling through my mind about uh, how I want to raise him, how I am raising him. Mm-hmm. 